a reminder that the Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the for high security personnel will be announced in a separate security broadcast transmission. Remember, more lives than yours may depend on your fitness. valuable addition to the Black Mesa team. Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting team. The Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. I guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're late enough as it is. Aw oh, man, you cut the pony. 
of messages for you. Get you away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. Still trying to find my files. Gordon, don't touch it's that. One of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Hey, it's happening! Cut it out! What the hell is going on up there? My horoscope was correct. Did someone pull this fire alarm? Come on, Gordon. What are you trying to do? Get me into trouble? Bertal, Bertal, come in. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. What the hell is going on up there? Uh, we had a little accident up here. Sorry. Yeah, well, that better be the last time. Go use another computer. Damn, Gordon. I'm rather yeah, busy now. Freeman, report to Anomalous Materials Test Lab immediately. I've about had it up to here. Hands off, Buster. I'm expecting a message any minute. Ah, nothing like the morning of a big test. I can't remember the last time I've seen the last What are you, are you doing? Trying still to get my supervisor down here. here. Quite invigorating. Maybe he can fix the computer. There was a coolant leak earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. You're living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? I've already made plans. Don't worry. Something new and unique. Next convention. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than a replication. Morning, champ. Hello. Good heavens! What the hell? You think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never do the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. Uh, that was, um... That was you-know-who's lunch. Can you access the mail server? Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Excuse me. Minor emergency. Be a dear and fetch me a roll of toilet paper. I don't panic, Harold. Don't panic. Oh, thank you.
thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Just a minute. Of course, at the time, it was Mark III. I hope things return to normal after this experiment. Don't count on it. If anything, you'll just have more to do. Freeman, please. Are you Maybe later, those tunneling Gordon. lattice calculations again? We can talk at lunch, Gordon. Has anyone actually later, even Gordon. seen your degree, Freeman? Wasn't the tram ride a little longer today? Why are you asking me? Listen, I'm only going to explain this to you one more time. If you have a question, that isn't my problem. It's yours. Right. And if I have a question, it isn't my problem. Oh, contraire! It is still, very much so, your problem. Now, do we have a problem? No. Really? I don't see a cup of coffee with two sugars and no cream in my hand. Do you? No. Well, that looks like a problem to me. Hello, Dr. Cross. We can talk later, Gordon. I'd like you to actually show me your degree, Dr. Freeman. Easy, Freeman. That's highly unstable. I've got this under control, Gordon.
hello, Dr. Cross. No, no, no. This is just a full skirt. Ah, Dr. Cross, fancy seeing you here. Easy, Freeman. That's highly unstable. Do you try to break everything you touch, Gordon? Maybe later, Gordon. <sighs> it's getting increasingly difficult to keep the rank and file in check. <laughs> Right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Hello, old chum. Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. Not now, Gordon. Check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure these superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. What's up, Doc? Are you certain it's irreducibly complex? Hello, old chum. There you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last minute changes, they're a bit strange to just... Oh! It's about to go critical! What in the blazes is going on with our equipment? <sighs> it was never...
never meant to do this in the first place. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. By Beckrell's ghost! The radiation level is off the charts. You know, this is far from the glory I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, and I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. No time for cold feet, Chief. Step right up. That felt deliberate. Use your words, sweetie. You, you've come all this. Ah, uh, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Testing.
testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mask spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives.
Listen, I, I tried to warn them. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. By Schrodinger's cat, he's alive. Gordon, thank God for that hazard suit. All the phones are out. I can't reach anyone in the facility. You need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger. Gordon? Gordon! Man, am I glad to see you. What the hell are these people? Why are they wearing science team uniforms? Shit is something out of 
of the sci fi movie. Okay, Doc. Grab what you gotta grab, but don't dawdle. Working on this kind of stuff. <sighs> Don't let them get near you. <laughs> well, you get points for trying.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Is it safe?